reaction may be exothermic or endothermic. Let's talk about the heat of the reaction. In the laboratory, most of the reactions are conducted at a constant pressure, for example, one bar. The heat of the reaction is the enthalpy change of the reaction. IUPAC recommends that one bar is the standard pressure. Then the heat of the reaction at one bar is the standard enthalpy of reaction, denoted with delta R H not. As the law states, the enthalpy change is the same regardless of whether the process is carried out in a single step or via a sequence of steps. That is to say, the enthalpy change of a process or reaction is only concerned with the initial state and the final state of the system. Please refer to the graph shown here. The enthalpy change depends on the initial and the final state, not on how many steps the reaction goes through. Now, we can do calculation of enthalpy change of a reaction under the guide of Hess law. Question. Use the following equation to calculate the standard enthalpy change for carbon monoxide. To get carbon monoxide as product, CO should be on the right of the chemical equation. We check the equation presented. We find the second equation has CO as a reactant. In order to have CO as a product, we reverse the reaction to CO2 goes to CO and O2. And the enthalpy change for this reversed equation is positive 282.97 kilojoules per mole. Remember, reverse the reaction, change the sign. Then we can add the reversed equation and the first equation after canceling the same terms at both sides of the equation, we have C plus one half O2 to CO. And we also have the enthalpy change for this reaction by adding the two enthalpy values of the two equations. Now we have the formation reaction of CO and the enthalpy change is minus 110.53 kilojoules per mole.